Were you surprised uh, that President Nixon actually took as many steps that uh, led to progress for Native people that, that he did? Yes, I was, uh, but it, you know, getting to know his staff and people and working within the White House uh, structure, um, they were just people, <laughs> and, you, and you can convince them or talk to them in the right way. It's, um, it worked, and it, was, it became a very wonderful relationship with the people that I worked with then and continues to this day as friends. Finally, that period is looked to by many people as the genesis of uh, tribal control. It was the end of the paternalistic uh, BIA and contracting came along. Uh, more tribal governments took over their own affairs. What are your thoughts there? Oh, yes. Indian Housing got organized, the Council of Energy Resource Tribes. All of these, they organized around, um, uh, around assets like energy or housing and so that, then, that all tribes then could belong and help each other um, make it happen so that they change the policies in Washington, they could change the policies back home on their own reservation. So it was, it really did work and, um, and so now we have a new generation and that's what Americans for Indian Opportunity involved in is the ambassadors program with a new generation of people coming up and having knowing this knowledge that we went through in the 60s and carrying it forward to another generation. Okay, any final thoughts as you look back there? Well, we've also been involved internationally, and um, we, want to th we think and feel very strongly that indigenous people have a voice to say in this whole idea of globalization, that we have to think about how we're going to live together and not just who has assets who has oil and who has gas, who has water, is even more important. So we've joined with the uh, Myris of New Zealand. We have friends in Bolivia, um, Mayan, the Mayans of Guatemala, Mexico, some places in Mexico. But we're reaching out in Japan with the uh, Japanese uh, Ainus. The Ainus of Japan have said that they're, they're the indigenous people. So there we go. Don Harris, it's a pleasure. We appreciate your time. Thank it's you good Jeff. to see you. It's my, my pleasure to find you again. <laughs>